Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for uh, Taurus for the middle of May, mid-May. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Taurus. Happy birthday to you. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mid-May. Keep in mind, the timing is fluid. This could resonate at any time, and it may not be for you. We'll see what comes up. Mm. Hangman reverse, three of cups. We get a celebration, a reunion perhaps. Somebody's getting unstuck. They're coming out of suspension. Leaving the past hurts behind. Somebody has received their enlightenment. They're ready to stand it up. I'm ready to take that next step. So this is a celebration. It's happiness. It is happiness. Letting go of the past hurts. Forgiveness. Forgiving. Um... Could be the answer to your prayers here. Somebody could be getting their prayers answered with these threes. Ooh. There could be some unfinished business that is being dealt with. Ooh, there's an offer of love coming in. Love is coming in. Somebody's making an offer of love. And it's going to make somebody really, really, really happy. Happy birthday. Ooh, and of course, right in the middle of the reading. That's a wonderful situation right there. So, the tower. Upheaval. <laughs> oh, boy, here it comes. Here it comes. A major... Uh, this looks like it's a rocket, you know? It's, looking, it's, it's, it's coming right up. It's coming right out of the ground, Okay. This is like a rocket launching. Um, something is going to happen, and it's it's gonna it's gonna really rock your world world whatever it is. Um, hmm. Ooh! Yikes! Yikes! Okay. Well. <laughs> I'm just going to get the rest of the cards. Somebody may be coming back. Okay, the Eight of Cups reverse. They may be coming back. There could be a reunion. There, that's a reunion up there. There could be somebody is 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 they they could be getting into a relationship here. They could be heading right into happiness. All right. Somebody may be coming back. Maybe they left. Maybe they left and they're coming back. I don't know. Um, there's unfinished business that needs to be taken care of. Okay? There is a strong desire to take care of this. Whatever that is. Maybe rebuild. Maybe rebuild the foundation. Um <laughs> Somebody is about to get some sort of a wake-up call, some sort of awakening, okay? There's been some resent. There's been some bitterness. Somebody has been really upset. Really upset, perhaps, that... Maybe somebody walked away. But we're going to get some more cards. Let me make sure that this is focused. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh God. Yep. Yep. All right. Here we have some uh, major change that is coming. You're driven by the universe, okay? 
the universe is 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 forcing a change of some sort with that tower card and it's bringing in happiness now this is a card of forgiveness the end of suffering could be dealing with a Scorpio Pisces Cancer Scorpio Pisces Capricorn Libra Gemini Aquarius whoever you're dealing with <laughs> there's a strong desire to, to finish it to finish something to do something There's been a lack of control. It's out of control. It's out of control. It's like you can't control it. This is a desire that is uncontrollable. And so that you can't they can't move on from it. You can't move on. Somebody is reluctant to move on from this connection, this bond. Somebody has a strong bond. Okay, they're bound together by these chains. They're bound. We have two people that are bound together. And it's not over. It is not over. Somebody can't move on. They can't move on. King of Cups reversed. This is somebody who has been withdrawn, secluded, not opening their heart. Emotionally uh, unbalanced, unable to master their emotions. I mean, we have somebody here that has been unable to master their emotions. Could be a cancer. I mean, we have we have cancer here. We have cancer Pisces, can Scorpio, cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't matter, but whoever this person is, could be any sign, because we all take on these traits. This person is like they can't master their emotions. This is an uncontrollable urge. And it is probably, you know, it's, it's more than just an urge by the looks of things. It's, it's love. It is love. So you could be receiving an offer of love. <laughs> it could be even, a, I don't even know, but it could, uh, this is have faith, believe, trust. I mean, this is the commitment card. So there is a major change coming. Some a major change is coming. It is something to celebrate. There's an offer of love coming in after you have been in a state of suspension. It's like somebody is standing up and they're and they're taking that next step. Change is coming. Change is coming. I'm sorry about that beeping in the background. I got something in the oven. So um Change is coming. I mean, yeah, somebody's about to take that next step, and they may take that step right into a commitment or into a love situation. Whatever the next step is, somebody's relationship is ste stepping it up to the next level. Coming out of the darkness. There's been some sort of insecurity here. Somebody has probably been left in the cold. But you have to, at this point, you know, you need to expect the unexpected because I think somebody is coming very, very quickly. This is your, this is your knight in shining armor. No kidding. This is somebody that is uh, basically coming to the rescue. Here he comes. Oh my God. This is it. This is it. This is a meant to be connection this is a very passionate connection this could lead to uh, a very 
it's a very seductive connection, okay? It is. Both. There's a lot of, uh, I mean, there is. It's a very tempting, it's a desire. We have some desires that are going to probably be taken care of. Um, it's like this angel is bringing these two, two people together. These people have been brought together from above. It's like that step is about to be taken. This is a this is a soulmate connection that is meant to be. This is meant to be. A decision is being made to take that next step. I mean, that's what I got. Let's get one of these. So be prepared. Get prepared. You got you got a love connection here that is undeniable. There's a strong bond. It's like it's like uh, you can't. It's like you can't. You can't deny it. You're chained. You're me it's meant to be. You're chained together. It's love and passion. A lot of sexual energy here. A lot of. Uh, sex I mean that's what it is uncontrollable it's out of control it's like you think of the tower card but that's what I saw it's it's out of control it's like whew. it's gonna rock your world like I said children of course your love life is being affected by children Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more more romantically attractive. Chemistry. I got done telling you that about 10 seconds ago, maybe 30. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. There absolutely is. It's uncontrollable. It's undeniable. I think that we have love that is coming right to the surface. Somebody is probably coming into your life suddenly. Could be a sudden decision, and it's just like, whoo, off the charts. Because that's what's going to happen. That's a rocket. Pretty soon it's going to be off the charts. It is. It is. It's going to be off the charts. So get prepared. Get prepared. Um, looks like it looks like a good good time. There's some business that needs to be taken care of. Sexual business. It's not just sexual business because there's love. There's love here. Emotionally fulfilling. Could lead to commitment. I mean, it really could with that Hierophant card. And happily ever after with the Ten of Cups. I mean, it certainly could. So I could certainly turn into something beautiful, but so mid-May, Taurus, that's what I got. Talk to you next time.